Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the very casual attire that's going on now. My hair is wet for a reason. I was very lucky enough to get sent some products by the brand called, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this brand here. The reason this all kind of became about was because I actually originally bought the scrunching jelly from Farmers. So it was roughly like $24, $25 and just put it on my Instagram story and then they reached down. They're like, we'll love to send you some products. And I was like, sweet. This whole range is specifically for like curly hair. My hair is curly. Curly. However, getting older and dyeing my hair, it's kind of like not as curly as it used to be, unfortunately. But end of the day, your boy's hair is curly. So I just thought, why not we just do a very honest first impression video of me trying out these products for the first time. So I am just going to detangle my hair. I just use a tangle teaser, just so it doesn't look as crazy. Also, like, just keep in mind, I'm still sussing out my curly hair routine. Some of these products may not work for me, some of them might. So, yeah. I didn't actually know this brand existed until I saw Not Just Eyes TikTok video, which was using the scrunchy gel, and I was like, I think I need that for my hair. So that's why I bought it. Like I said, my hair's wet. I've had a shower, clearly. I start off with the Curl Jelly Wash. So this is their shampoo. It is 100% sulfate-free shampoo with vitamin B5, and it's it's pretty much meant to be like a gentle cleanse and it's meant to give glossy bouncy definition for natural waves and curls and it's silicon free. First impressions of the shampoo, didn't really like it. I'm just going to check the prices of each product in case anyone is interested in buying these products and trying them out themselves. Okay so just looking at Farmers' website, majority of the products in here sell for $25, $24.99. So yeah that's how much it costs. But yeah the shampoo I didn't really like, I kind of felt like as I put it in my hair it felt very rough and then once it was washed out my hair felt like it was been stripped back. Very very coarse if I'm gonna be completely honest. I did actually have my hair straightened for three days prior to me washing it. It could have just been from the straightener and the products that were used in that process but yeah my hair did feel quite coarse when using the shampoo so I wasn't really too sure about that. However the defrizz conditioner. So this is a moisturizing detangling curl enhancing conditioner to defrizz, add bounce and define for natural waves and curls formulated without silicones. As you can see like literally here i've still got a frizz but i feel like frizz is normal curly hair is always going to have frizz at the end of the day no matter what product you use it could be a drugstore product it could be some high-end product there's always going to be frizz in your hair and it's just kind of something that you can't get rid of naturally however it would be lovely to reduce it so there definitely are products that do work for reducing frizz however i felt like this has it. obviously it's still frizzy you can see it it definitely felt more softer than the shampoo it actually felt like more hydrating more like nourishing now that i'm out the shower like it does feel really soft i wouldn't say it's like amazing but i think it, it's a good product like it does the job that was the shampoo and conditioner my honest opinions on those products now we're going to move on to the styling so i was given the curl whip this is a curling mousse styling product I was also given a curl control cream. I personally like using cream or like leave-in products on my hair. I feel like it kind of adds hydration to my curls and makes my hair look nice throughout the day. I'm actually quite excited to try this one. So this is the No More Frizz Anti-Frizz Curl Serum. So if this can tame down my frizziness just even by the slightest bit. I will absolutely love it. She's a bit crazy right now. Very crazy. Anywho, I don't think I'm going to use the mousse today just because I would rather use it on dry hair rather than wet. I have used a mousse in the past. It was actually a gold foil mousse. It kind of just made my hair go like quite crunchy when it was on like wet slash damp hairs. Maybe we can try this out in a shorter video, probably as a TikTok on its own. We are going to go straight in with the kill control cream. So we'll just squeeze some into my hand. Whenever doing curling creams, I just like to rake it in through with my fingers and take some more put on the other side i quite like to go on with a lot like that much <laughs> i know people are always like oh just use like dime size amount i'm like nope my hair needs more than that just noticing with these products they don't really have much of a smell to it once i do like my curl and leave-in products i usually just kind of like scrunch up quickly and that's just with the excess product that's on my hands. This was the original product that I bought from Farmers, the Curl Jelly Scrunching Gel. I've used this probably like four or five times already. I do really like this product. It doesn't leave your hair crunchy. It doesn't leave it like all stuck together and hard. I am quite happy with the scrunching jelly and how that one's been going. I don't know, just looking at my hair now, obviously we've got to wait for it to be dried, but just looking at it now, I just feel like it's still a frizz ball. Okay, I'm not gonna be too judgy because products haven't even had a chance to work. This is the No More Frizz Serum. We're gonna like just read the back and see the directions on how to use this product. If we put it in now or later, squeeze the excess water from your hair and smooth enough serum through your mid lamps ends to evenly coat them into a silky smooth veil of shine and nourishment. Less if you're mildly frizzy or just need some split ends hiding. More for thick, unruly hair. Hmm. 
I don't know, it doesn't really say when to put it on, like if it's meant to be on wet or meant to be on dry hair. So I think we're just going to put it on straight away because I've got heaps of frizz. We'll start with two pumps. So I'm just going to like rake it through and then use the scrunching method back up again. Kind of just like pat down the top. A lot of the time when I watch curly hair routines and curly hair videos, tutorials, whatever, everyone parts it into like six sort of pieces and I'm just like... I don't have time for that. <laughs> I literally just split my hair in half and then just work with it. That could be why my hair doesn't look as nice some days because I'm not evenly disputing it, if that's the right word. So that is all the products in. I will come back in like a few hours just because I'm gonna air dry. I've tried using a diffuser, a Remington like hair dryer with a diffuser attachment one time and I just felt like that it just made my hair more frizzier. It definitely did add like definition to my curls but at the same time it was just like <sighs> Anywho, I'll be back in a few hours. Alright, so it's been a few hours, my hair is pretty much dry. This is what we are currently dealing with. What I really notice the most is honestly just the frizz, like look. It's like someone just rubbed a bunch of balloons on my head. In terms of the way that my curls have formed, not even just with this brand, always on the top part of my hair I feel like it looks the worst. So I probably do need to start sectioning my hair if I want it to be nice and even all over. It doesn't feel too soft now that it's dry. Like some bits are a little bit crunchy. But overall, the scrunching jelly is definitely still my favourite product just because I have used this for over a week now and it does work with the current products that I'm using. The shampoo wasn't really too much of a fan. I didn't like the way that it felt on my hair. It kind of made my hair feel quite dry and coarse, especially once I rinsed it out. Conditioner was pretty average, if I'm gonna be honest. It definitely felt a lot more smoother compared to the shampoo, but overall, pretty average product. The mousse, I haven't tried the mousse, so I definitely will try that someday, maybe in a TikTok or something. Curling cream, I don't really know if it's done much in terms of like defining my curls and defrizzing. Definitely hasn't done any defrizzing at all. Like, it wasn't a bad product, but I don't really see any drastic change in my hair. The No More Frizz Serum, because I put it on when my hair was wet, why don't we just put some in while my hair's dry? Just see if that kind of tames the flyaways. And even if I'm like doing this right, from what I've been like googling, I'm meant to kind of like not what I just did, like drag it, but you're meant to kind of just like pat products in place rather than like rub. I mean, the frizz is still there, but it definitely has kind of like tamed it down a bit. It doesn't look as frizzy as it was before, but there's still a whole bunch of frizz there. Not too sure about this one. I feel like it would be a good styling product though. Say if you're straightening your hair and you just kind of want to run it oil through it, I feel like that could be quite good for that sort of use. That is my honest review slash first impressions on this particular brand and the products that I was sent. Big thank you to this brand here. I'm not going to try to pronounce the name. A huge thank you for reaching out to me and even just sending me the products. I am very grateful for that. Unfortunately it just didn't really work too well with my hair. Could be that my hair isn't curly enough. Could be the way that I'm applying certain products. That's just how I currently do my curly hair routine. I'm still trying to find ways and products and new techniques on how to improve it so bear with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are wanting to try out these products definitely recommend it. You know give it a go. Sometimes some things work for people. Sometimes they don't work for others. Exactly the same thing with makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again huge thank you to the brand for reaching out and sending me the products in the first place. I really am grateful and I do appreciate it. If you want to see more of me and my content, wherever it's makeup, I'm now a hairstylist, jokes. feel free to subscribe, share it to your friends, even if it's for a little laugh, a bit of hate, share it, share, share, share. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in my next video.